So I've had two different conversations this last week. Both had the same theme. These people were sharing with me that they were struggling because there were so many areas that they felt like they could improve, so many things that they needed to do. Uh, and really, I could just see in their eyes and sense in their voice that that at the root of it was they felt like somehow, until they got it all together, they were going to be a disappointment to God. And I shared with them something that I have been thinking about and and saying both to myself and to others for well over a decade. And that is, God is not concerned that you do everything. He's concerned that you do the next right thing. And I, this, to me, combines two different scriptures, One, both, both of which you've heard before. One is from Philippians 1, where Paul is telling the Philippians, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And the other is in 2 Peter chapter 1, where he says, For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Both of those scriptures speak of of us being unfinished and that God is doing the work. The Philippians 1 passage focuses on God being the one who is doing the work and being the one who's going to finish it. And the other is just this idea of the goal is to be increasing. The goal is to is to have to have something that you're striving toward, but not something that you somehow all of a sudden have. It's something that you have an increasing measure. That you add this, you add this, you do the next right thing. And in so doing, we will uh, be, we will not be unproductive or ineffective in our knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're somebody who's been struggling with that, you've been struggling with feeling like you're just not doing enough, that you're struggling in so many areas that, boy, how come after this many years I don't have it together? I highly encourage you, go take a read of Philippians and 2 Peter and remember that God is not concerned that you do everything. He's concerned that you do 